I just kind of started for you my makebook. I decided I was going to sport a red lip. So, earlier today I did have like a really thick line of eyeliner on. And it was a little too thick on the lower line. My waterline and my lower line. So I kind of fixed it. And I washed my face using facial soap. I didn't have any powder, makeup, or anything else on my face all day. But I had too much eyeliner on, so I kind of fixed it. And I put on a red lipstick. And I think I'm going to do kind of like a rusty color. I was going through my belongings that I just kind of found. And I found one of my e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes. And I found this eyeshadow that if I were to swatch it, it looks kind of like a brownie. It's a brownie. <laughs> brownie. Yum. Um, a brown, kind of rusty color. I poured some in the lid because they, you know, like the big brushes that it comes with normally. Somehow I guess I lost it. So it's like that dark onto it. But if you were to blend it, it looks kind of almost like a purple. Like a rusty purple. <laughs> so I'm going to put that. Well, first I'm going to tap some off. Tap off the extra. And I am going to pat it onto my lid. So I can try to avoid some fallout. And lately, and I kind of brush it on. And the rest of my eye, most likely, can probably put on white eyeliner. I said eyeliner on um, eyeshadow. Kind of going down slightly, kind of like making a wing almost. I think I poked my eye. <laughs> but yeah, you should get something kind of like that. And if it's too dark, please blend it. Even if it's with your fingers or whatever else you want to use. So then, I'm done with that. I'm gonna go in with my natural palette I always use. And I'm gonna get the white color. I guess this is almost kind of like a vampire kind of looking. Look also. I didn't really notice that until now. I do kind of have some black lined in there, but I suppose you can go over it. And I already highlighted my brow bone earlier, but I suppose there's nothing wrong with doing it again. I'm probably going to mute down the lips a little bit. It's possible that I might be going out for dinner. I'm not 
just saying that just to tell you my plans I'm telling you because if you want to sport this look you most likely I'll have to wear this at night because it is kind of dark then I'm going to take my elf and the brush I always want to say angled but it's not the angled eyeliner brush so you can use this for eyeshadow or eyeliner in my opinion my friend does the same thing and you can get this at Elf's website, you can probably get it at Target, or Kmart, any store that carries Elf products. And Elf, um, Dollar General that I went at and I got this at, they didn't have a lot of Elf products, but they had Elf brushes and Elf, um, eyelash curlers. So, you know, <laughs> you'd be surprised what you can find. And try not to make the line too thick. See the difference? Yeah. <laughs> you can dip into a little bit more product. And in case you're wondering what the gel liner I'm using is, it's the um, Physicians Formula eye um, eyeliner. It's in the Green Glam Eyes collection one. It comes with three little staple cream eyeliners. Well, gel liners, if you will. And that was one of them. And then you want to kind of tilt your brush a little bit like this, if you don't have an angled one like me. And kind of go in there. So you can get it. And if you want to wing, go ahead, but I usually mess up when I wing. So. And the uh, eyeshadow doesn't really have to be perfect because it's kind of like a messy makeup look. And the rubber accent, so I can see. Alrighty. I think that's pretty good. I already have mascara on, so if you want to fix it, go ahead. And you can put on any other kind of face makeup, which I might do. And yeah, hope you guys like this look. And yeah. Have a nice night, guys. Bye.